Hi there, it's Kelly. And in today's video, I am going to shoot down the latest story that's coming out. Big time, big time, big time. First of all, I'm the author of this book over here, The Doctor Cures Cancer. There it is <clears throat> in, in the Russian. And it could be in, in uh, Korean, at least 200 pages of it in Korean. Uh, we'll see about that. The, the latest story was came out in Reuters is that in New York, they're finding that nearly four out of 10 people who show up with and are hospitalized at the, in the hospitals in this, in this one New York hospital system, that they've got kidney failure. Now, when is the last time you heard of somebody who had a cold and it caused kidney failure? Because COVID is, is a word that the powers that be have invented so that you don't realize that COVID is a cold. It's a common cold. They knew that if, if they called it a common cold, <clears throat> and they tried to tell you that all these symptoms were happening, that you wouldn't believe it. So they gave it a new name. They call it COVID. And it's bull. It's a common cold. Now, people are really showing up with a lot of serious problems. So we don't want to discount that. We're not saying that they don't have health problems. But the cold is only a small part of what's going wrong. It's sort of like if somebody were in a, in a major car accident, serious, serious, so serious that they eventually died, and they had all these broken bones. Right, as part of it, you know, they're dying. Would we say that they suffered a broken arm if we were trying to discuss what happened to them when they had, you know, six broken ribs, a broken pelvis, a broken spine, you know, cracked crack skull, all this other stuff, and they died? Well, that's what they're doing here. They're trying to say, they're trying to get you to focus on a broken arm. That's the COVID, but they can't call it a cold because if they call it a cold and you got all these other symptoms, they're going to go, wait a minute, time out. You know, it just doesn't, the story doesn't work until they change the name. And they're very good at that, changing the name. But this cold supposedly causes such things as darkly discolored toes and feet. When's the last time you heard of a cold causing dangerously discolored toes and feet? How about skin rashes? How about dry lungs? When I used to get colds, I didn't have any dry lungs. It's, you got, you're producing stuff, right? It's not dry. But that's what these people are getting. So, COVID is a, is a cold, and we should call it that, or better yet, we should call it dark toe disease. Why not? We should call it because some of the people have dark toes. And it's an indication of their body not getting enough oxygen because their lungs are too dry because, wait for it, 5G makes it difficult to absorb oxygen. It's a pulsed wave that gets the oxygen spinning in the wrong direction so it can't connect with the hemoglobin. So people are coming in. <gasps> you might have seen videos like that. Well, when that happens, your toes are going to turn dark because it's not getting any oxygen. Their toes are dying. Your foot is dying. And your whole body has a chance of dying once they stick that ventilator in there and they complete the process of just scorching your lungs. This is not, a, it's not just a cold. And now why is this so serious? If you protected yourself completely so that you didn't get COVID or any of the rest of this, it's still not going to solve your problem. And here's why. Because if it's 5G that's causing it, it's not a seasonal condition. And once people start going back to work and into their activities, there will be more use of these pulsed frequencies from 5G and 4G and Wi-Fi. That increases the incidence of 
the health pro the serious, serious health problems. So they'll point to it and say, oh, we shouldn't have ended the shutdown because look what's happening. People are getting sick again. Yeah, they're getting sick not because of a contagion. It is not because of a contagion. It's because they're, they're, they're uh, what's it called now? They, they, their membrane potential is being lowered and their electrolyte system is being messed up. And it's giving them all sorts of problems, including a flu, which you normally wouldn't get in this warm weather. Do you know that in Texas, they just had a spike the last two weeks in the number of COVID deaths? It's not COVID deaths. It's 5G deaths. It's gotten warm in Texas. The flu doesn't hang around so much in the, in the warm weather. It's, there's a few summer colds, maybe, but not... It's mostly a cold weather thing. But these, this, so there shouldn't be a spike in deaths. There should be a reduction in deaths if it were caused by a cold or a flu. And the cold rarely kills anybody. So they're not dying from the, f they, maybe the flu is, you know, the flu is like the thing taking them over the edge. But everything in their body is, go is shutting down. They're not getting the oxygen. So this, this flu is like a lot worse than what you would expect because, you know, oxygen is kind of important. And it has to do with 5G mostly and 4G and Wi-Fi. It's cumulative. We Every day that we get exposed to this, and how long do we get exposed to it? We use our cell phones more and more. Not me, I don't use a cell phone, but you. Using your cell phone, texting, all this stuff. Your body is it's accumulating, accumulating, accumulating. The pulsed waves are taking your body, taking your DNA. It's supposed to be a spiral, strands, and breaking them into little bits. And at, at first, it might not, you might not notice it. But, you know, day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year, more 5G, boom. I was driving down to Panama City, and I saw the same sort of thing in the clouds. The clouds, if you start paying attention, particularly if you're in a 5G area, you will see repeater clouds like staccato or Morse code clouds. That's not normal. That's the pulsing that's doing that. That's why there's a break in the clouds from the pulsing. And when you see that in the sky, it's also going into your body because the, the sky is made up of electric water. And your body is mostly made up of electric water. So the pulsing is coming through you, and your DNA is getting turned into little bits, little strands that aren't connected. So more and more people are getting sick. You're, you're probably feeling tired. Last year, the heat. Do you notice how irritating the heat was last year? Do you know why? It was the same heat. You're noticing it more because your body is not able to function the way it normally does in the heat. Well, I've gone on long enough, but we have to stop the 5G because even if you protect yourself individually with my heartfelt energizer, the, the thing that's going to wipe everybody out, and I wish I had mentioned this sooner, is the shutdowns. This means no food. Farmers are already shipping their cattle out outside the country or they're getting, you know, whatever they're doing, you know, they're, 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 the meat won't be there. The vegetables won't be there. It's being plowed under, all of that. And when you shut things down, people don't have money to pay for it. They don't have, and, this, and the people who are inspecting the meat are taking liberal leave policies, so the meat's not getting inspected, and the other food isn't getting inspected, and the food's not being grown. It's being plowed under. All of that, we're not going to have food, and people don't have money to buy food. Somebody asked me if they could get two of my. Heartfelt Energizers. Now, if you order one, you get two for $19.99. <laughs> that was a pretty good joke. Well, I, I got a joke back for you. One egg is going to cost you $19.99 before long. One egg. Because the chickens are being killed, too. So we have to stop 5G because as we have activity, more 5G gets used. This causes more illness. And this gets into people's minds that it's COVID. They blame it on COVID. It's not COVID. It's 5G. And the 5G is causing the whole thing to happen. If we shut down the 5G, the whole cycle stops. We can go back to work. They can grow food. We can buy food. We can eat food. We can have our jobs. 
and we can pay for things, the things that we need, the roof over our head, the gas in our car, clothing for our kids in school so the kids can, back, can go to school so they can be educated, hopefully, so they can get a job, you know? Yeah. You, you know, otherwise your kids are going to be uneducated even less than they are now. So anyway, like I said, I've gone on far too long. I'm the inventor of the Heartfelt Energizer. We just got 12 more in place already. Uh, one lady has four more to put up, but she's in staying in someone else's home. So it's a matter of working that out with the owner of the home. And, uh, and so the more and more we get of these, the more energized people will get so we can shut this stuff down. But you got to work on it. We got to get it. We got to get 5G shut down. There's, there's no other way to solve this problem. Don't call it a cold. Or excuse me. Don't call it COVID. When you call it COVID, you're playing into their hands. It's a common cold. A common cold. And common colds don't kill people. But this thing is killing people because it's 5G and it's screwing up the electrolytes. It's screwing up your DNA and it's screwing up your membrane potential. And the screwing up the membrane potential is what allows you to get the flu, colds and flus. Will you take care and God bless.